You're going to take your yoga tuna palm and place it at the lowest part of the foot, keeping your heel on the ground. Okay. And as you find the heel on the ground, you'll allow the weight to sink in to the ball, okay. being mindful that the toes don't stay up, but allow them to soften and curl. Okay. And you hold here for anywhere from one to five minutes. If you've been doing this you know, every morning, then you could probably hold a little longer. But be mindful of not holding too long because the tissues might, uh, might need a little more time, like doing this every day, to be able to accommodate the longer hold. So after you've done this for about a minute, uh, two, three, five minutes, in stillness, so no movement, your windshield wiper your foot back and forth. You know, nice and slow, so you get a little bit of the drag on the skin and the fascia and the muscle below. Again, be mindful that the toes aren't actively lifting up, but they're very soft and neutral. And again, you would do this for anywhere from one to five minutes, just depending on how you're feeling and how long you've done uh, the rolling before. It's your first time, I take it a little more easy. And then you transfer up to the very knuckle of the big toe, right underneath it. So not under the middle of the foot, but as you can see, there's a little space. I can actually see the ball from my, my view under the knuckle. And then again, you put your weight into the foot, allowing the toes to curl. And as you do this, and if you have um, tender feet or tight feet, you might notice you hold your breath, just like in any posture that you're feeling challenged or it's new and you're, and you're learning a little bit about it. We tend to focus a lot in our mind and a lot less feeling in our body. So make sure as you're holding, you are breathing just as deeply as you would if you're holding something like Warrior Two. Okay, from here, you'll transfer the big toe right on top of the ball, like right in the middle. Heel stays down. And it's like you're pushing your thumb, but it's your big toe, into the middle of dough. And it's the actual big toe activating and pressing down into the center of the ball, rather than you just shifting your weight to, in order to press the, the foot down. It's the actual individual um, toe pressing down. Let's just give a little activation for the underside of the foot after all that deep fascial stretching, unwinding. And I would do that for a few more times, about until you get fatigued. And when you're, once you're fatigued, just stop. And then you'll move on to the next one where you just transfer the ball of the foot down. So now the heel of the ball of the foot is down and the ball is right to the back of the big toe. You may have the ability to move the smaller toes out of the way. I've been practicing for a while, so I can do it without using my hands. And then you might be great here as you can feel the stretch through the sole of the foot. Or you might take a step forward to put a little more um, extension through the back to find a deeper stretch through the big toe and the inner line of the thigh. And you also, if you're really flexible, so I'm, I'm doing this for a bit, so if you want, you can bring your right shin forward, which also increases the depth. Again, checking that you're breathing as you do this. This is something you might do for 30 seconds, it might be up to two minutes, it really depends on the individual. I usually say less is more, especially if you're just starting out. So when you finish that, move your ball out of the way, place your feet down, and you just Kind of acknowledge the difference from side to side. You might feel more of the sole of your right foot, this I did my right side, pressing into the ground. And this can be done in the morning if you have a long work shift where you're on your feet, you could do it right after. Um, especially if you don't have very supportive shoes or you have to wear high heels, this is excellent for that.